हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल हाउ आर यू होप यू आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट होम डियर्स चिल्ड्रन टुडे आई वेल हार्टी वेलकम यू ऑल टू नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सेकेंड लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश सो आई हैव कम यूर विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक डियर चिल्ड्रन बिफोर वी गो टू अवर टॉपिक हियर इज ए प्री रीडिंग टास्क let's see what is that so here is a story read carefully now i read the story and you have to listen carefully after i read i will ask some questions you have to answer the questions listen carefully are you ready okay a child playing on the street was hit by a speeding vehicle the child was lying in a pool of blood she was shifted to a hospital the doctors who examined the child told her parents that child needed immediate blood transfusion and they must arrange four bottles of blood immediately the eager parents offered good money for buying blood many ang did give blood but none accepted money offered they bluntly told the parents that blood could not be bought for money and that it should be donated by one person to the other person now on, once again i give you gist of the story so here a child was playing in the street at the time a speeding vehicle hit the child the child injured severely and fell down in the pool of the blood immediately the sh- child was shifted to the hospital the d- doctor who examined the child advised her parents to immediate transfusion of blood to save her life the parents were very eager to save their daughter's life so that's why they offered good money who gave the blood many ang came forward and donated the blood but they bluntly told bluntly means without any hesitation they told that blood should not be purchased it should be donated by one person to the another person are you clear okay now let's see the questions now answer this question dear children what happened to the child remember the story what i have told yes you are correct the child was hit by a speeding vehicle and injured seriously you are very good the next question is what did the doctor advise very good the doctor advised to immediate blood transfusion to the child what did the parents offer the parents offered good money those who give the blood next question why did the young refuse to take the money think over children why why they have refused to take the money yes you are good because blood could not be bought for money and it should be donated by one person to the other person what are the things that we can't buy with money can you guess students what, there are many things we could not buy with the money please list out them yes very good friendship yes good kindness yes very good love again very good helpfulness and cooperation so dear children there are many things or objects which you could not purchase or buy with money so among them justice is also one of the greatest value which you could we could not purchase with the money dear children today we are going to learn about the poem justice this is composed by the poet pravin kumar dear children our human life is based on certain values 
So, justice is one of the most important value among the great values. So, before we go to learn about the poem, we'll, let's try to know about the poet. The poem Justice is composed by Praveen Kumar. Praveen Kumar is a bilingual poet. Bilingual means two languages. He had written in both Kannada and English. He is born in Mangalore on 29th June 1949. He served as a senior police officer for more than three decades. Decades means? Decade means it is a period of 10 years. It means he worked as a senior officer more than 30 years. As a poet, he published 12 collections. And as an author, he published five volumes on matters of governance and administration. And next, he has been regular contributor to the prominent national dailies like the Hindu, the Indian Express, Deccan Herald, the Times of India and other periodicals and journals were extremely popular and often sensational by their innovative unorthodox thoughts. So, his works are divided into three categories. One is non-fictional works. These are the non-fictional. Let us see what are his non-fictional works. Policing the new age. Policing the Police, Inside India, Indian Police, these are his non-fictional works and his English poems, Unknown Origins, Portraits of Passion, Love and Pride, Simply Yours, these are Praveen Kumar's English poems and he has, we already know that he had written poems in Kannada also. His Kannada works are Divya Belaku, Bhavana, Tapasvini, Priya Geetegalu and many more other works he has done in Kannada also. Okay, students, we have learned about the poet. Now, let us listen to this recitation. Justice begotten in exchange is no justice. For exchange is trade, a distressing gain through loss. Justice is inherent right. Though wrapped in black packs, in dark hall of race for survival, like gold strains bound in mud till exploited, she is cool like ice and still like rock. No easy road to charm her soul, while hardship makes her no more justice. Why? Justice is shackled to greed and bribe. Why? Justice is fished out from popular move, lost in thick jungle of lightless night, like rat caught in the sack of death. Like deer caught in lion's lair, she never reaches self by herself. Justice with no heart for truth, justice with no dash for right cause, is justice dead indeed. Okay, students, now I recite the poem. Justice begotten in exchange is no justice. For exchange is trade, a distressing gain through loss. Justice is inherent right. Though wrapped in block packs, in dark hall of race for survival, like gold strains bound in mud till exploited, she is cool like ice and still like rock. No easy road to charm her soul, while hardship makes her no more justice. Why justice is shackled to greed and bribe? Why justice is fished out from popular mood? Lost in thick jungle of lightless night, like rat caught in the sack of death, like deer 
caught in lion's lair. She never reaches self by herself. Justice with no heart for truth. Justice with no dash for right cause is justice dead indeed. I hope you enjoy the recitation. Children, let's move to another part. So while you are reciting the poem, you might have come across many new words. It is a time to add few new words to your vocabulary. Let's see what are those new words in this poem. The first one is begotten. As like in the justice begotten in exchange is no justice. Here its meaning is got or earned as Kannada padadaddu atava galisida. Let's see the usage of begotten. I begotten first place in 100 meters race. Next one, let's see. So, distressing gain, a distressing gain through loss. It means, distressing gain means dishonestly obtained profit. It means in Canada, anyaya dinda galisida, anya marga dinda galisida antaha galike sampatu. The officer caught by the IT officers for his distressing gain. IT officers means income tax officers. Next word, inherent. Inherent means basic or permanent, which should everyone should have, which it, it should be must and should everyone should have. Swabhavik vagi irbekonadu. Dance is also an inherent part of the culture. Next word, exploited. Exploited means unearthed. Here, exploit actually it, it have another meaning, but here contextual meaning. In this poem, we have unearthed. It means varategiyudu. See, let's see the usage of this word. Many countries exploit oil under the sea. Next word is charm. Charm means attract or influence. Mohakavada, Sundaravagi, Kanvantaha. The usage is he is handsome and charming. See, look at the picture, how handsome he is and he is charming everyone towards himself. If he walks in the road, everyone attracts towards him. Next word is shackled. Shackled means chained. Bandi sirwa. See, the observe the picture here. The dog was shackled with leather chain. Shackled means chained. It is chained with the leather chain. Next word is fished out. Fished out means drew or pulled out. Andre hora tagiyadu, tagadadu. Let's see the usage. Yura Singh is fished out from Indian cricket team. He is removed. He is pulled out from the Indian cricket team. Yes. Next word is layer. Layer means resting place. Andre vasasthana. Let's see the usage. Santosh dares to enter the dragon's lair. See the picture. It is a lair of dragon. Okay, students. Till now you have come to know about the meanings of the new words. Now it is the time to summarize the poem. Let's summarize or let's try to know the gist of the poem stanza by stanza. In the first stanza, the poet says, if we get the justice by exchanging money or any other thing, it is not a justice at all. Justice is everyone's, every individual's right. Justice is every individual's right. So here the poet tells that justice which we got by giving money, by exchanging some any other things, that is not a justice at all. If we get that justice by exchanging money, it will become the trade or business. If we get justice by exchanging money or any other things, it will be the trade. Next stanza. 
In the second stanza, though justice is kept in a dark hall of phrase by wrapping it in a black pack like strings bound in mud, but it is exploited. So, justice is kept in the dark hall of phrase for survival. In the poet comparing the justice with the gold strings like that even though you keep the uh, justice in the dark hall the man exploits the man take out the justice by the dishonest ways next one in the third stanza the poet compares justice to the ice and the rock justice is as cool as ice and still like rock it is not easy to get justice working hard to get justice makes injustice justice so here the poet compares the justice with the ice and the rock it is not easy to get the justice if you try hard to get justice it will be not a justice it is injustice next next to fourth stanza in the fourth stanza the poet questioned why justice is shackled with bribe and greed here the poet asks why justice is chained with the bad desires and corrupt people and also he asked why justice is fished out from the popular mood fished out from the popular means why justice is taken out from the list of the popular values today's justice has lost its value so that's why it is taken out from the list of the great values and also he said justice is lost in the thick jungle of lightless night we have to search for justice in today's situation justice is lost it is like a rat which is in the which is caught in the sack of the death so here the poet compares the situation of the justice with the rat which is caught in the sack of the death so uh, the cat could not ex escape from that uh, sack of the death and in the last stanza poet feels that justice has no heart for truth and it is not racing for right cause he feels sorry that there is no justice justice is dead in the fifth stanza the poet said the condition of the justice is like a deer which is caught in the lion's lair so justice she never reaches self by herself she never escape from lion's mouth how the deer could not escape from lion's mouth like the, in the same way justice also never reaches and justice has no heart for truth the poet says the justice died because it doesn't race for the right cause he feels sorry that there is no justice okay students now we have summarize the poem now we here is some questions few more question to understand more about the poem let's see what are the questions the first one is when justice is reduced to trade so okay students go through the book it is in the first stanza have you find out the answer yes very good justice is reduced to trade when it is earned for money the next question is what kind of a right is justice as it is also in the first stanza okay got it yes very good according to the poet justice is inherent right yes justice is every individual right the next question is how does the poet describe justice okay students the poet describes justice as cool as ice and still like rock so here the poet compares justice with ice and rock next question is how justice is wrapped so it is in the second stanza justice is packed in black pack where there is no light like a dark hall of phrase for survival so justice is kept in the dark hall of race for survival there it is kept in black packs 
Next one is why the poet says that justice as gold strains bound in mud. Why the poet says that justice as gold strains bound in mud. So, gold strains are bounded in earth. It is highly valuable even though man exploits it. Like that in the same way justice is also valuable but man exploits it for his selfish end. The next question is why the poet says there is no easy way to charm the soul of justice. Ok students, justice is based on impartiality. Nowadays justice is reduced to trade. It is cool like ice and still like rock. Therefore, the poet says there is no easy way to charm our soul. Next question is, where justice is lost, how it's compared? See, justice is lost in thick jungle of lightless night. Understand? Where justice is lost. For this question, justice is lost in thick jungle of lightless night. It is compared to the rat which is caught in sack of death. The next question, let us see what kind of justice is dead according to the poet. So, the poet in the last stanza said the justice is dead. Why? According to the poet, what kind of justice is dead? According to the poet, justice with no heart for truth and no dash for right cause is death. So, it means the justice which has no heart for truth and if it does not work for right cause, it is dead. Okay, students, here is a activity. Let us match the following words with the with their meanings. So, first one is see in column A, wrapped, greed, bribe, sack, dash. In the column B, raise a large bag to keep secret, corrupt and insatiate. So, wrapped means to keep secret, greed means insatiate, bribe means corrupt, sack means a large bag, dash means a race. Okay? Students, it is a time to appreciate the poem. So, what should we have to appreciate whether the poet or the poem? So, there are some literary devices in the poem. Let us see what are those literary devices in the poem. So, the here there is no rhyming scheme. So, here uh, the poet has used the figures of speech. They are simile and personification. The first one is simile. Simile means a simile is a figure of speech in which two different objects having at least one thing common are compared directly using like so or as. It means two different objects having the one common thing within them that is directly compared using the words like so or as that is called simile. Let us see some examples. See here the baby sleeps like koala. Here two different objects are things are baby koala. What is the common between them? Sleeping. The sleeping is the common between them. The baby sleeps like koala. Next example is his sister is as gentle as a lamb. See here is a sister and a lamb. They are different objects. Gentleness is the common between them. Next one is learning is as easy as pi. See learning and pi are different objects and easy is the common between these things. And next one is the strawberries are red like roses. See the, here strawberries and roses are the two different objects. The common thing between them is the color red. Next one is it is the time to you identify the line in the poem where the simile is used. Are you feeling difficulty to find the sentence? Now, shall I give you the clue? Yes, stanza 2. 
there is a line which is used simile okay though wrapped in black packs like gold strands bound in mud very good next one in stanza 3 yes got it very good that is she is cool like ice and still like rock okay now let's move to another figure of speech that is personification personification is a figure of speech in which a non living thing or an obst abstract notion is attributed the quality of a living being it means non living things or non living objects are attributing the quality of a living thing that is called personification example one my village streets are calling me here village streets are non living being so here calling is the attribute it is the quality of living being it is attributed to the, to the village that's why it is personification next one is the sun smiled at me here the sun is abstract notion or non living being so here smile ing is the quality of human beings it is attributed to sun next one is tossing their heads in sprightly dance so here tossing is the quality of living being here it is attributed to the uh, flowers that's why it is personification next one is the phone awakened with a mighty ring while i was sleeping the i was awakened it means the phone awakened me with a mighty ring here awakened is the quality of human being it is the time to identify the line in the poem where the personification is used it is in the stanza 5 that is she never reaches self by herself very good children now it is the time to take the home assignment okay take down the first one is fill in the blanks with correct word first one is justice is dash right second one is like dash strains bound in mud third one is she never dash self by herself no easy road to dash herself next one is answer the following questions take down which stanza do you like the most and why what is the message of the poem how the human life is based on justice so read carefully and write the answer in your own words okay and submit to your teacher okay students before we wind up the class let's have a look at it that is there is a qr code on top of the poem scan that code and you will get more examples or exercises about the poem you will get by scanning this qr code before you scanning that code you have to download the diksha app in your mobile phone okay thank you children i am raghavendra an assistant master karnataka public school medigeshi from madigiri taluk thank you thank you one and all